take three because I keep saying access learning zone. <laughs> this is take three. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I knew I should have just kept it like computer learning zone for everything. Uh, I'm your instructor, Richard Ross. This is part two of my Excel automation from Excel video series where I'm showing you how to make a button to bring data in from access from Excel. Make sense? Okay. This is part two. So if you haven't watched part one yet, go watch part one where I show you how to set everything up. Today we're going to continue with importing the records from our table and applying some formatting and some other pretty stuff. Okay, so here we are back in our sheet. Yesterday, we made our little button here to import our customers. You click on it. Oh, oh, see, there's a name's already taken. See, if you already got that name, right, debug, then it's you can't create that sheet again because you already got it there, all right? So if you really want to address that, if you, if you plan on importing more than one sheet per day, you could just do the format here and do like YYYY, MMDD, and then dash, H H N N S S. Remember, N is four minutes. So save that. Now we should be able to do it again. Let's see. Click. And there you go. See? Now we got our minute and seconds instead of just that. Whichever one you want. If you plan on doing it multiple times per day, that's what I would go with right there. All right, but let's delete these sheets down here. Delete. Yes. Okay. So what do we leave off with? We left off with this, looks good. I'm gonna get rid of that okay, that import. You can leave that if you want to, but I find it annoying. Maybe put a beep down here, All right? Okay, so we've got the data imported. Actually, let's before we do that, let's format our header rows. All right, and I'll paste in that, apply formatting, and it's with WS rows one, the first row, right? Font color equals that, we're gonna make it white, interior color and remember access is background color in excel it's interior color and i picked a dark blue background okay so let's test it make sure it works let's go back over here hit the button again boom and there we go okay and yes you're going to keep getting a new sheet every time you do it i'll just delete that one and that one. okay back to our code now we got to do the actual import of the data and that is going to look like this Okay, let me get rid of that. So RS move first, that means move to the first record of our record set, which is the customer table. Where are you? Customer T is our record set, right? R equals two. I want to start at row two in my spreadsheet because row one's got the headers in it. All right, do while we still have records while we're not at the record set end of file. That's what that means. It goes back to the text file days. Okay. For L equals zero to RS fields dot count minus one, that's columns, that's our columns, right? So WS cells, whatever row we're in, column plus one, or field plus one for the column, its value equals the field's value from the record coming in from access. Okay, then repeat for each field, move to the next record, increment the row, and move forward. Okay, so it's going to run through all the records and then run through all the fields. Let's give it a test. Always throw in a debug compile. Come back over at Meow and hit the button. Ready? Go. Looks good. Looks pretty good. Okay, we got to do our uh, thing where we reformat the, uh, the column widths, right? We did that in Access. We could do it in here too. All right, auto fit columns and it's going to look like that same command as we had before ready go there you go okay, everything looks good and again let's left the line that first column just to give you an example of how that works All right switch back over here left the line the first column looks like that remember that excel here we can use excel left because it's actually part of Excel, so we can get away with it here. In Access, we needed that negative 4131, because I didn't want to make a reference to the Excel library. I hate doing that. Debug compile, come back over here. Let's delete this, and click the button again, and boom, there you go. And notice how it's left aligned. Okay, now, what if you don't want all these fields? 
What if you got sensitive information in your customer record? You don't want, you know, credit limit. You don't want customer sense maybe. Okay, well for that, we'll just make a query. Or better yet, if you know what the fields are, okay, you can come in here and instead of uh, having to make a query in Access, you can say select customer ID, first name, last name from customer T, order by last name, comma, first name. And make that two columns so you can see it. There are two, two lines of code like that. Your record source can be an SQL statement. Okay, and then you get exactly what you want. So again, let's delete this. And then go. Ah! Yeah, I didn't think of that. <laughs> this is the one thing I didn't run through, I just decided to do in here. Um, okay, so it says you typed in an invalid name for a sheet or chart. Now, this will make more sense if you hit debug. It'll show you what line it's on, okay? This works just fine. I've done this a million times. I forgot about this guy. All right, the sheet name, we're trying to set it equal to our record source. Remember that? Customer T and then the date timestamp. Whoops, someone's beaming in. All right, we're making that tab name just a little bit too long. So instead of putting the sheet name in here, and I'll just run that out so you guys got that, I'll say WS um, uh, dot name. Actually, let's do, um, let's do this. Let's, let's leave that one alone. We'll just change it up here. Let's just make this say import there. That'll be whatever you're importing because you might change this. All right, now it should work. Ready? <laughs> Go. And there's your import. Just the field you wanted. Sorted by last name, first name. And there's your new sheet name. <laughs> that threw me for a loop. Um, but that's it. That's, that's pretty much all you got to do right there. I mean, it's not... That's not easy. And like I said in the last video, I, this is some, I don't work with Excel VBA every day myself, so I still have to look some of the syntax up myself. But, you know, that's what lessons like this and books are for and the Google machine and chat GPT, right? What, it's understanding the concept that's important, understanding how this stuff works. Because you can get the syntax from anywhere, right? The actual commands. If you understand, okay, I have to open a connection to the database, Understand SQL, understand how files work and file names, okay? Understand looping through records, what these counters mean. That's the row, that's the cell, all right? Just get the concepts. Just understand how it's working because even me, I've been doing this for 30 years. Even I have to look up the syntax sometimes. Yeah, access I know like the back of my hand. I could do it in my sleep, but Excel, eh. The, the few times that I do work with Excel VBA, I sometimes have to look this stuff up too. So don't feel bad if you can't remember it all. I don't remember at all. Okay? All right. Uh, gold members, this will be in the code vault or you can download the spreadsheet from the website. Everybody else, that's going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. If you want to see more Excel VBA, let me know. I am planning on doing some Excel developer classes. I'm going to be redoing all my Excel lessons soon. I know I've been saying that for a couple of years, but all the, all the old lessons that are on my website are still good. All the material is still perfectly valid. It's just I want to make the video better quality because I recorded them before and it's a little small video windows. But um, yeah, that's going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. And if you want more Excel, you know what to do. Put a comment down below. Say, I want more Excel. Okay, bye. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have down below. I do try to read and answer them all as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. If you'd like to see me make more Excel videos, post a comment down below and say, I want more Excel. The vast majority of my videos are for Microsoft Access, the database program, because that's been my forte for the past oh, three decades or so. However, I'm more than happy to make more videos for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, any other topic that gets requests. As you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, so make your voice heard, and I'll make more videos for Excel. If you'd like to become a member of my channel, click on the Join button below the video. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos. And members of all level get free courses once a month. 
Gold members can download my Tech Help spreadsheets and access to my Code Vault. Platinum members get access to all of my beginner courses and lots more. Now, if you want to learn more, if you're watching this video on YouTube, click on the Show More link down below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube actually does a pretty good job of hiding this thing. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Excel Level 1 course, check it out now. It's over 90 minutes long. It's free, and it covers all the basics of Microsoft Excel. And even if you don't need it, I'm sure you got someone in your office who's always asking you questions about Excel. Forward a copy to them. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel, even supporters. Just email me and let me know that you signed up, and I'll send you your free copy. And on my website, I've got tons more lessons for all levels. You'll find everything from my free beginner lesson to more Excel beginner lessons to Excel expert lessons where we cover VLOOKUP and INDEX and MATCH and you name it. I got tons of stuff on here. And while you're on my website, stop by the Excel forum, post any questions you might have, and join in the conversation. Be sure to follow my blog, and you can find me on Twitter and on YouTube and I'm on Facebook, but I don't like Facebook, so I don't use it that often. That's a whole different story. If you're curious, email me. <laughs> but as always, thanks for learning with ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm Richard Rost. Live long and prosper. I'll see you next time.